Hello everybody, welcome back to the show. Today I kind of just want to do a short little video where I complain about stuff, specifically femboy chasers and creeps. Now don't get me wrong, being attracted to femboys is perfectly valid and reasonable. There is nothing wrong with that. In fact, I encourage you to not repress whatever you're attracted to. That being said, femboy chasers and creeps are a whole nother story, and I'll explain why. A lot of this is gonna be anecdotal, but I think it still illustrates my point fairly well, which is that there is a difference between having a type or being attracted to something Thing, and exclusively going after a certain type of person on the sole basis of their existence being your fetish. Now, I'm not one to kink shame. You can have whatever fetish you want. Well, uh, I mean, there are some instances where you shouldn't act on that. For instance, if, if your name is EDP445, you, you sh probably shouldn't be acting uh, on your attractions. But this is something that I, as a femboy who is bisexual, have had the misfortune of having to deal with. Now, when it comes to dating apps, I've seen a lot of chasers on the internet, but I'd say they're the worst when it comes to being on dating apps. Now, there are some dating apps where you can only message people who you've matched with, right? But there are other dating apps which are better in one regard, which is that you can send people messages and receive messages before matching, but the downside of that is the messages themselves. I'm gonna put a few screenshots of some of the unsavory things that people have said to me. Okay, quick editors, no, unfortunately I don't have the screenshots from the dating apps, so instead I will be replacing them with other unsavory messages I've received elsewhere. I think these images speak for themselves. I just don't understand why, why people think it's okay to just assume that I'm somehow gonna be sexually attracted to you by being being very overtly sexual right from the get-go as a complete stranger who I've never met before, as if this is somehow supposed to turn me on when it fucking doesn't, alright? This is not going to make you attractive. Now I will say that being open with your intentions, and having good communication, and being the one to initiate a conversation, I think that these are all good things. You should do those things. However, it doesn't justify saying weird shit like this, this, or this. Again. Being a femboy is not inherently sexual. There are instances in which it can be sexual, but to automatically assume that somebody has sexual intent when they cross-dress is fucking absurd. And if you're somehow dumb enough to think that it's exclusively a sexual thing, and it's obvious that you think that way, then why the fuck would you waste your time, you know, swiping on people that are obviously way out of your fucking league? And I don't mean that in, like, a narcissistic way. I mean, like, if you are a, 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 a grown-ass man in, like, your fucking 40s or 50s, and you are specifically looking for 18-year-olds, you are a groomer. Oh, wow, w would you look at that? The, the correct use of the term groomer. Wow, crazy, I know. And I think that one of the worst examples of this was on this app called, I think it was Timey, Timey, I don't fucking know. I think that they removed this feature, which I don't know if that's for the better or for the worse. There were like these group chats, right? So you could make two types of group chats. One is a private group chat where only people that you accept into the group chat are able to go in, and the other is a public group chat where anybody can join until they get banned. Most group chats that had people in them were public. Now, this seems like a, a very great thing on the surface, right? Finally, a, a fucking dating app where, like, you can actually, like, talk to people instead of just endlessly swiping. Isn't that fucking incredible? Well, there were two main issues with this. One, it's not location-specific, so you're probably not gonna find anybody that you can realistically meet in real life. And two, the majority of the people in those groups were people that you wouldn't want to meet in real life anyways, so actually that's probably for the better. There are some very terrifying people. Every single group I joined that had the word femboy in it was just a cesspool of disgusting old men trying to hit on literal fucking 18 and 19 year olds. Like, that shit's nasty. I'm sorry, but if you're an old wrinkly bald guy in your 60s, no, fuck off, I'm not interested. I don't want to hear about disgusting shit, about how, how you want to, to come inside of my tight little asshole. I don't want to hear any of that. It's fucking nasty, especially if you're in your 60s, and I don't know who the fuck you are. You have to establish some sort of connection with me first, before you say those things. And if you're 60, don't even fucking bother, okay? Anything beyond a platonic relationship if you're an old person, is just not gonna fly with me. Anyways, I know this video was more, uh, I don't know, ranty than my normal shit, but I feel like this is something that needs to be said, so that's why I'm making a video about it. 
Anyways, if you found this entertaining and agree with me, make sure to leave a like. If you want to tell me something, feel free to let me know in the comments below. I read all of the comments. Yes, every every single one of them. I also have a Discord server, which is linked in the description below. And I also have a podcast that I upload to every single Wednesday, and I might upload twice a week there. Uh, but for now, I'm going to focus uploading twice a week on this channel. Goodbye, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you all in the next one.